Hello everyone. In the last video we have discussed about the Hagen Poiseuille law, that is the flow of viscous fluid through the circular pipe. Uh, we have seen the shear stress distribution, the equation of velocity and the velocity distribution. We have also seen the Hagen Poiseuille equation and its derivation. Now moving further, today in this video we are going to discuss about shear velocity and few examples based on hagen poiseuille equation. So, the hagen poiseuille equation we have seen or we have derived as hf is equal to 128 mu into ql divided by gamma pi d raised to 4 as you can see here on the screen. Now, similar equation and this equation of hagen poiseuille equation is nothing but is of the pressure drop p1 minus p2 by gamma. Now, the similar equation we can also give for the Darcy waste page formula. Now, as you remember, the case of flow through pipes in case of losses, major losses, we have seen that the lo major losses are due to the frictional resistance and that frictional resistance will be going to be offered by two different things. One is due to the surface of the pipe and the other one is the viscosity of the fluid. However, in that case we had we did not consider the viscosity as a friction resistance into the analysis. So, this hagen poiseuille equation is nothing but the equation will give you the loss of pressure head or the pressure drop due to the viscosity of the fluid. Right. So, in similar way we have used that Darcy Vespage equation and we have written in that way hf is equal to p1 minus p2 by gamma and substituting the value of p1 minus p2 as Darcy waste wedge formula, we will gonna get f l u a v square divided by 2 g d. One thing should be noted down here, instead of this v square, we are using v as u a v average velocity. So, do not get confused, this velocity v has been now re re defined as u and not the v. So, the shear velocity is nothing but we can derive the equation for shear velocity by using the equation of shear stress that is tau maximum and as you know the tau maximum is nothing but minus curly p by curly x capital R by 2. Now here we are not going to say tau max as tau max but instead we will use the notation as tau 0. So this equation tau 0 can further be written as p1 minus p2 by L into d by 4, we can replace this radius of pi by diameter as d by 2. Now, in this equation, if we substitute the value of p1 minus p2 from the Darcy West switch formula, which is f l u a v square by 2 g d, and substituting this value into this above form, tau 0 is going to look like this. So, here the common term will going to get cancelled in numerator and denominator l, l and d d. So, the tau 0 is nothing but is equal to gamma f u a v square upon 8 g, right. Here, this for equation can further be written as tau 0 rho f u a v square by 8. As we all know that the ratio of gamma and g is nothing but rho, that is density. And this equation can further be simplified as tau 0 by rho is equal to u a v square upon into f by 8. If you take the square root on both the side, this term will look like square root of tau 0 by rho is equals to u average into square root of f by 8. Here, this term square root of tau 0 divided by rho is nothing but is known as shear velocity and shear velocity can further be denoted as u star. So, this is how the shear velocity equation can be derived. Now, moving further in this video, we are also going to discuss about the examples based on Huysen Poiseuille's equation. And this is the data of an example I have written here. So, I have that example data and solution available with me, but I will try to discuss the equation part so that you are going to get an idea how this equation should be utilized to solve any particular example. So, in this example, we have given the data as specific gravity of oil 0.8, the discharge which is nothing but flow rate. Q is equals to 720 liter per minute, pressure drop is equals to 500 kilo Pascal per 100 mm pipe and the length is 0.1 meter and the diameter of pipe D is given as 60 mm. 
So, this equation the hazen poiseuille equation we have to use here. The objective of this particular example is to find viscosity which is nothing but is your mu and we need to determine the type of flow. So, type of flow if you remember is a matter of Reynolds number and based on Reynolds number you can say whether it is a Raminar flow or whether it is a turbulent flow. right? So, first of all what we will do, we will try to calculate the average velocity because as you know the formula for hessian poiseuille law is now available as u average. So, let me write that equation first of all. The hessian poiseuille equation for pressure drop P1 minus P2 is given as 32 into mu into u average into capital L divided by d square. Now, this equation we have to use here to find out this mu. So, if you see this equation, we have d, we have L, we have to calculate mu, we have also given P1 minus P2 per 100 mm of pipe, but we do not have u average. So, there are two unknowns available here in this equation mu and u average. So, that is why first of all we have to calculate the average velocity. So, average velocity is nothing but is u average and this equation for average velocity is discharge divided by area and the area is nothing but area of pi. Here we have given the discharge value as 720 liter per minute. Now, if you see the units given here in this data are mks. So, we have to convert this liter per minute into meter cube per second. So, if you convert this value of 720 liter per minute, the, the divided by 1000 and divided by 60. So, this value will come as 0 0.012 meter cube per second. You can verify this value later on. So, I am using that value of discharge here into this part 0 0.012 and the pipe area we can calculate by pi by 4 into d square and the diameter of the pipe is given as 60 mm. So, which can further should be written in terms of meter. So, 60 mm is nothing but is your 0 0.06 meter. So, substituting this value here pi by 4 0 0.06 square and if we calculate this whole term the final answer will be 4.24 meter per second. So, this is the u average we have calculated. Now, we can substitute this u average value into this equation of uh, hagen poiseuille to get the value of viscosity. So, we can say that the pressure drop which is P1 minus P2 is given by the above equation of Hazen Poiseuille P1 minus P2 is equals to 32 mu u average L divided by t square. So, we will make mu as a main in equation because that is our objective mu is equals to p1 minus p2 into d square divided by 32 into u average into L. So, here in this equation if you see we have d, u average we have just calculated, L we have also available in data and p1 minus p2 is nothing but this pressure drop uh, which has given as 500 kilopascal per 100 mm of pipe. Right. So, how we can do that? In fact, if you see that 500 kilopascal is nothing but is a 500 kilo newton per meter square. So, we do not need to convert that value into the another form 
and it is given as per 100 mm so also if you see 100 mm is nothing but the length of pipe which is 0.1 meter so we can directly substitute the value of p1 minus p2 as 500 here so substitute substituting all values here into this equation 500 into diameter 0 0.06 square divided by 32 into 4.24 that's the average velocity into the length of pipe as 0.1 and if you calculate all this thing the final answer for viscosity will come as 0 0.132 and the unit for viscosity is Newton second per meter square so this is the final answer or the first objective we have completed of this example now another objective for this example is to determine the type of flow and as i said that the type of flow is a matter of reynolds number so the reynolds number we have to calculate first of all so reynolds number which is denoted by r e is equals to rho and as i said v is been replaced by u average every time here so it is equation is rho into u average as v into d divided by mu right substituting the value of the everything so we have given specific weight of all we do not given the rho directly so we have to use it accordingly so 0.8 is the specific gravity of oil as given into thousand into if you see 4.24 into diameter 0 0.06 whole divided by mu just we have calculated 0 0.132 the answer of this form would be 1541.8 approximately and you can see this number is less than 2000 this 2000 is nothing but is a range for Reynolds number for laminar type of flow in case of pipe so if the number is less than 2000 what you can say the flow is laminar so we can conclude here as your Reynolds number is less than 2000 the flow is laminar right so this is how these examples can be solved using the equation and different relation of that equation right this is very simple example we can also have some variety of examples to solve using the same form of equations so we need to clear fundas properly and for that you can refer my last video to get a proper idea about heisen poizhule equation derivation and its different term so that you can calculate more examples right so that's all for this video uh, in next video we'll try to discuss about some more topic of viscous flow